Holstein Association USA has partnered with Allflex USA to provide dairy producers with high-quality ear tags that are suitable for meeting registry requirements and practical for on-farm management for over a decade. We are pleased to take another step in this partnership by offering breeders an alternative option for collecting genetic material from their cattle for genomic and other genetic tests. This method of tissue collection can be done quickly on animals of any age, from newborn calves to mature cows, with minimal discomfort to the animal. This video will demonstrate the proper usage of the Allflex tissue sampling unit. In order to collect tissue samples, you will need an Allflex tissue applicator and a supply of tissue sampling units. As you can see, the applicator is slightly different than a traditional ear tag applicator. First, let's take a closer look at the tissue sampling unit and how it functions. As you can see, the sampling unit is actually made up of three individual pieces. On the left is the tissue cutter, which physically punches the sample from the animal's ear. An individual cutter is included with each tissue punch to ensure there is no contamination between samples from different animals, and it is important that the cutter be carefully discarded after each animal. The middle red piece is a connector which simply joins the tissue cutter and the sample collection tube and is discarded before the sample is taken. The final piece is the collection tube, which stores the sample after it is taken. It contains a preserving agent, so the samples may be stored at room temperature for a length of time. The tissue is punched directly from the ear into the collection tube, which self-seals when the cutter is retracted. You will see that each sampling unit is labeled with a number and a barcode and it is important to record the number of the sampling unit that corresponds with the animal you collected the tissue from. Loading the applicator with the sampling unit is a quick and simple process. First, seat the sampling unit into the applicator, as shown here. Use the built-in grooves on the applicator and unit to help align it properly. The sampling unit should be assembled as one piece. If it has come apart, reassemble before loading. Next, twist the black tube retainer clockwise until it secures the sampling unit into place. After the black tube retainer is in place, carefully squeeze the applicator handles together, guiding the hole in the gun bolt onto the top of the cutter piece if needed. When fully seated, the gun bolt will rest flush against the red plastic connector. Next, release the handles. You will see that the tissue cutter has separated from the rest of the unit and is in place to use. Finally, remove the red plastic connector clip by pushing downward until it unclips. Take care not to cut your fingers on the metal tissue cutter as it is very sharp. The red connector clip may be discarded. Here's a closer look at the applicator being loaded from start to finish. Now let's see how this works in an on-farm setting. For starters, as with any procedure, it is important to ensure the animal is properly restrained before taking the sample, and use an assistant if one is needed, for the safety of you and the animal. As you will see, the animals have very little reaction to the tissue punch, but the process is much more efficient when the animal is calm and relatively still. For our first example, the person collecting the tissue sample will load the applicator in real time. The process can be done in less than 20 seconds. Before taking the sample, identify the target area of the ear. We want to focus on this section of the ear, approximately one inch from the tip, away from any major blood vessels, ribs, and any ear tags that may be present. A quick rub of the ear between your fingers will confirm that the spot is clean and clear. Place the applicator over the ear and close to the target area. In a swift, fluid motion, squeeze the handles together, taking care to move with the animal if it moves. Once you have collected a sample, remove the tissue tube from the applicator and look to see that a sample was successfully retrieved. If not, replace the unit and resample with a new tissue sampling unit. Before taking another sample, it is important to remove the used tissue cutter from the applicator. To do this, pull the handles apart until the cutter falls off. The cutter is sharp and care should be used when discarding it. The punch will leave a very small hole in the animal's ear, and if positioned properly, little to no blood will be present. If the sample was successfully taken, you will easily be able to see the tissue in the preserving agent inside the sampling unit. Again, be sure to record the number from the sampling unit that was used for each animal 
so there's no confusion if you're sampling multiple animals at the same time. Finally, we will show one more example of collecting a sample from an older animal in headlocks. As we have demonstrated, the tissue sampling unit provides a safe and efficient alternative to pulling hair or drawing blood to collect DNA for genomic and other genetic tests. With questions or to order tissue sampling units or Holstein Association USA Genetic Testing Services, please call 800-952-5200 or email genomics at holstein.com.